Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to take a look at this pen type digital multimeter which was sent out from Zotec free of charge for our consideration. But before we get into that, got a little bit of housekeeping I want to take care of, answer a couple questions you guys had posed, and render an opinion on a comment. Let's start with the opinion on a comment. Somebody posted last week another multimeter video you're getting bored he was getting bored well I apologize first of all I love multimeters there's gonna be a lot of multimeter videos secondly I've been suffering from kidney stones for over a month and on pain medication so I really couldn't wrap my head around building some complex circuits for your enjoyment sorry if you're unhappy with the channel go watch somebody else second question somebody asked what was this in the background this is the new Amazon Echo Show. It's basically an Amazon Echo with a built-in five and a half inch screen. I like it. I think it's fun. Next up, I got a present in the mail from a Floridian, our good friend B-Blood, who sent me this nice note, helpfully in very large font for my aging eyes. I won't read it over, but uh, Barry and I, communicate a lot back and forth via email and Florida is one of the very few states I have never been to Florida Montana Washington and the Dakotas I think I think I've been everywhere else anyway in the package were three things first of all I always tell Barry I would never go to Florida via the alligators I mean there's alligators everywhere in Florida they just pop up in your yard and eat your ass. So anyway, this is like a nice little, um, I don't know if it's ceramic or pottery, let's call it pottery, alligator. And I think that he is going to live up here with Batman. That way, if there's any trouble, the Dark Knight can keep uh, an eye on the alligator. Um, I'm soliciting names for said alligator. <laughs> Put them in the comments down below. Next up was a nice soft uh, coaster. I love Florida. And a shot glass with an alligator on it. So Barry, thank you very much. You are quite the kind gentleman. Next up, today is July 26th. If you guys have been following along, you know that I had my uh, second surgery today and it was successful. Uh, the doctor even gave me this lovely photograph and we can take a look at it here. This is the before picture. And look at all the look at all them sharp ass edges. That's what's cutting me up. And this is the after picture where it is basically just kidney stone dust. Now my if you know anything about stones there are different types. Why don't you focus? Mine are um, uric acid stones. They are close relate related the gout which I also sometimes suffer from but anyway before after kidney stones they're out of here next I'm going back to the uh, uh, the probe masters for my multimeter reviews I kind of caved in and folks told me I really shouldn't do that so back to that all right now let's move on to this uh, meter all right let's have a look here comes in a nice thick case we have a user manual written in English let's see if we can uh, zoom in down here and get a better look at some of the specs I'm not going to read over them all you can uh, take a look here you know pause the video if that's something that you are so inclined to do Got an alligator clip for the ground lead. And there she blows. This is the ZT203 pen type multimeter. And uh, it's available on Amazon for about $26. 
this is my first time having it out of the box so I don't know anything more than you guys know about it I don't even know if it has batteries apparently it do not so let's see what she wants One moment. Okay, there she is. Zoom out here and focus in nice. Whoops. Also got our ground lead here. It says 600 volt Cat 3. But there's no UL or any listing, so it's self tested, so to speak, right? Okay. Let's start off with some voltage testing. Got our voltage standard here, it's on. We are set for uh, 10 volts. Let's grab this little alligator clip jobber here. So yeah, anyway, with the uh, so, and I have another stent they had to put in and leave it for a couple days, but I'm so much more comfortable now. It's no big deal. All right, so we'll power it up. Nice big digits there. Those digits are uh, about two centimeters. And the overall size on this guy, from stem to stern, it's about 20 centimeters or just about eight inches a little under seven and three quarters or so all right so let's see what we got here 10 volts 10.01 very nice oh, and right out of my hand moving on down to 7.5 volts right on Moving down again, 5 volts, 5.014, and finally, 2.5 volts. And I have trouble with these little jumpers. 2.5, hey, hold on, you know what, I think I got something for that. Yes, indeed I do. This was a viewer gift, I forget who it was from, I apologize. But these are jumpers with uh, nice little tabs on them. Let's get a couple green ones in honor of one of my long-term viewers and fans and friends, the Venomator. He seems to like green objects. It's funny, you know, different people different definitely have the same. Oh, excuse me. People have different color preferences, you know, the Venomators being he likes green things. If you're a fan of Big Clive, you know that he likes pink. I'm a blue fan, which is nice, although this is like Makita blue. I'm more a fan of, uh, hold on a second, like a, like a darker color blue. But hey, whatever you like, right? Doesn't really matter. Yep, those jumpers with tabs on it, that'll make things a lot nicer. Okay, we'll get that out of there. So, DC. Millivolts, DC volts, millivolts. Long press, nothing, volts, millivolts. It says DCV, ACV, NCV, but I'm not quite, not quite sure how I change them. Hmm. Well, how about we RTFM, right? OK. 
Okay, safety information. Introduction, front panel on, off, select. Push this button for more than two seconds. Long push again, turn off. To toggle between blah, blah, blah. Press this button, okay. True RMS. Okay, there we go. Now we are on resistance. So let's break out the new resistance and capacitance box I built. And it's clear on the back so you can see inside and kind of see how I did it. Yay, me! All right, uh, one second. Let's try and make things a little bit easier. Here is a uh, banana plug. This is our common for all of these, so I'm just going to clip onto it there. Then I got another nice gold banana plug. And we'll test them out. All right, let's start over here. This should be about 2.25 uh, ohms. 2.5, okay. Next up, 10 ohms. 10.1, very nice. Should be around 100 and what, 6.2, I think it says. Alright, what's going on there? Oh, okay, 100.2, I'll get 100.9. That's good. Uh, 985.6. Nine eighty seven, okay. Ten K. Nine point nine eight. No worries there. Nine ninety six point five K. That says nine nine five meg. Point nine nine five meg, so good there. And uh ten point two megs. So you see I've upped my uh the high end of my scale here 10.11 meg very nice now this bottom half here is for capacitance this doesn't do capacitance so we really can't check it now but that's okay I'm sorry I was wrong it does do capacitance all right well anyway diode checks up next so let's uh let's bring in some diodes First up is a Schottky diode. Should be like 0.2 to 0.3 on the forward voltage reading. 0.2, very good. Next up is a high speed diode. This should be about, same as a silicone diode, somewhere around 0.5. 42, very nice. And a standard silicone junction diode between 0.5 and 0.7. Point five five five. Okay. All right. Let's grab some um, some LEDs. One point eight, and it lights the LED. One point eight five lights the LED. Point three four it lights it. All right, now we're moving up. This is a blue. Hey, it lights at two point five two, and this is a near ultraviolet two point six. So that's good. That means it's putting out about. Well, let's not say about. Let's find out exactly what the diode test is. What we can do is bring in another meter, and we can put it on DC voltage. and we can just read the voltage from the diode test on it. That way there's no guessing involved. 3.26 volts for the diode test. That's very nice. So that'll pretty much light uh, just about any diode you want to check with it. Sweet! Alright, capacitors. Let's see if we got capacitance in here. Yes sir. Capacitors. Alright, let's bring it in. First up, we have 1.07 microfarad. Let's get this 
all set up here. All right, 1.07 microfarad. 1.06. I'm sorry, nanofarad. Good. Blame it on the uh, anesthesia and pain pills. Next up, this one. Somebody didn't mark. I think it's 1200 microfarad. Yeah, we get 1302. And this is a big guy over here. Should be around 104. Yeah. Right on. Let's see if it'll fire up the big one here. This is uh, 15,000 microfarad. Let me just short that out. Yep. And away we go. We'll read it, we'll read it. It says it uh, goes up to 999.9 microfarad, but hey, it's reading it just fine. Oh, it's millifarad. Yeah, no wonder it'll read it. Yeah. Okay. Looking good so far. Don't really have a way to show the um, AC. My, uh, you know, my AC is up in there, and I can obviously put this in, but you know, you're not going to see it. I guess we should tear it down, right? Right. All right. No captive screws, and from the looks and feel of it, they go directly into plastic. Sure, this has to pop off here somehow. But I'm not quite sure how. Give me a second. Okay. I got her open. Let's say it was a slight bit uh, damaging, but it's repairable. All right, if we take a look down here. So I'll focus and zoom in here a little bit. Hopefully that's focused. Here's our input positive and our input negative. We've got a, our input coming into a couple of MELF resistors. Two 5 meg resistors, that's giving us our 10 meg impedance. Got a 10k resistor here, a transistor, got a 1.5 PTC, 1.5k PTC for protection. Not a great deal of protection, but you know what? I wouldn't expect it in this. You know, bunch of passives, four megahertz clock. There's a uh, there's a jumper. I mean, there's not a lot going in here, but you know what? For uh, for the price, don't really see anything uh, anything bad here. If this is a form factor that you would need, it's accurate enough, safe for you know low voltage DC work. Hey, what can I say? I'll put a link to it down below. Again, thank you Zotec for sending this out for our consideration. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks to my Floridian friend for his kind gift. And I'll say that's it. I'm out. Peace.